Good afternoon, family and friends. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join myself and my family in celebrating Wahoo Gong's 50th birthday. I want to take this opportunity to thank my family and friends for making this event possible. Without the endless dedication of my Lee family, my Yang family, and my friends from our uh, pals, for extended friends from his other family, this event wouldn't have been possible. Thank you all for your generosity and commitment in helping us. I want to talk about the man of the hour, Pal. Happy 50th birthday. I want you to know how great you are. You have impacted each and every one of us in this room. You always give the best in all aspects of life. Your generosity and honesty have not changed even after the passage of time. The passion with which you care for your family and friends is unique to you. I cannot find such passion in, even in the pages of my favorite books. I am proud to have you as my husband. Pao, in the presence of your family and your friends here, I'd like to say that we appreciate you and all you have done for us. We celebrate 50 years you have lived and we wish you 50 or more. Thank you. Good evening. Still even, evening now, right? <laughs> um, my name is Evan. I will be speaking on behalf of all my siblings here. Before I begin, I just wanna thank everybody who is in attendance tonight. Tonight wouldn't have been possible if we didn't have everybody here. Dad, thank you for being the best and most supportive father any child could have. From you, myself, and my siblings, we are so lucky to have such a great role model and a great teacher in our lives. You are continuing to set a great example not only to us, but the community at large through your sheer determination and entrepreneurial <coughs> spirit. You are an amazing father, mentor, and leader. And by being only 50 years young, you have had a positive impact not only in our lives, but everybody else who is in attendance today. That is why we are here with you tonight. So after 31 years of knowing you, you have taught me many things. And here are just a couple of them. The first one being family. Family is the most important thing. You always made it a point to be there for us, whether it's coordinating family events, or trying to find the best people to coordinate these family events. At times, it looks like you might stretch yourself thin, but that just goes to show how big our family is. Secondly, persistence. We heard that tonight. The secret to success is not about the person who is the smartest or the most gifted, but the person who is persistent. I myself, and I'm sure most of your friends and family could attest to your persistence. I've seen you face all kinds of adversity from your professional work 
to your health, and I have seen you triumph all the adversity due to your persistence. I have a quote from Audrey Hepburn that perfectly describes your persistence. It goes as this. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I am possible. Next, you have taught me that time goes quickly. It feels like yesterday, Dad, when you used to drive back and forth from the Bay Area to Fresno for your electric engineering job. I remember you sharing a story with me during those trips. We had stopped in Gilroy early, early in the morning, late at night, early in the morning. And you were too exhausted, so we parked the car and you wanted to take a nap. My younger self was so excited. I was saying, Dad, Dad, it's okay. You can sleep and rest. I'll stay up and keep an eye out for the bad guys. <laughs> Here we are now, 30 something years later, celebrating your big 50th birthday. Finally, Dad, you taught me that dreams do come true. In these short 50 years, I have witnessed many of your dreams come true. You always had a desire to help those in need. You, were from, you went from helping those around you to pursue higher education and now helping our community here in the Central Valley with a multitude of issues. You also always dreamed of living in a one-story house because it was so much work to get the furniture up and down the stairs. I know dreams come true because I've seen all of yours come to life. Dad, you are 50 years young, and I'm honored that as your son, I get to share this special moment with you. Thank you. I know we're all about an hour delay, but time is more important than anything. I'm going to be speaking Malian in English so that I can welcome our, my families that are here with me. ที่อยากจะพงยูเอาลูเจลูจ่าไปกู Panijanutsanko Rong 
พระยาลุชิเฮอร์ทอยุตีขโมละในตัวอย่างในตัวเรากูจะมีหยวนแล้วในตัวเราเนี่ยกูจะปุ่งยินซึ่งไปว่าตีหนึ่งย่อเป็นชาวลุชิเฮอร์ตรงนี้เนาะก็เป็นที่เราไปจอดชิลูเต่าชิ้นชี้เต่าเงาโอเคขนาดยาจะเก็บบอชัวกูจะต้องเนี่ยไปทุเรนสุดตัว I want to welcome all my friends in the great city of Fresno that are here this evening with me and my family. My friends and my colleagues at the Fresno Center, if you mean anybody that you don't know, that's my family. And I've also shared that with my family. If you mean anybody that you don't know, those are my friends. Those are the ones that support me outside of my house. Those are the ones that I run to when this group up here is upset with me. So hopefully, my family have shown many of my friends the hospitality of our Yang family and also of our Li family. I want to thank my in-laws. 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 ลงเชือกกันก่อนเนี่ยจะต่อตัวสายลู่ไปเหล่าตัวกูเทียอยู่ชิมัวลูกูยอมรับมือหายวันนี้เจ้าก็ปีเต่าเน่จังกงจังมงปีเต่าเน่ลู่ก่อเน่จงกูเจอสีอยู่กูปนีจินย้อนเลยเราเน่เจ้าจินใจยังอีสื่อยังเนี่ยยาจีเนี่ยอีถูกตัวมูยกูปนีละเน่ยังจังใจจงชงจงก่อ做亚的是，他古有自己鸟了啦，但是，但是那个那些人在古有自己弄的是，不叫到古家大佬，来叫古把你安在，来用来古家哥，那些一直能加上，那现代，那些么，那些种。哎，那有一，都我知道啊，其中那了，他那家几多古铁啊，那家今朝他家年朝，二万才五包，二毛知道一样啊，其中那，叫我念我记啦，那家六千多二了嘛，到那古最古的生意，就还最，也肯开，也路热。ไปเนี่ยไปจีอยู่หลอซื้อแต่สิไปเจอกันมงยาเนี่ยตัวโฮเซ็นทรัลวาลีนาวันนี้เจ้าเนี่ยนู่นนั่นกูอยากประทานบาทเชียตุนสายรุ่งจงชงแต่ไปจุลิไปมัวไปเจอกูตีสัญญาชี้ใจแต่สิจุลิตีป่อเนี่ยตัวยศที่เจ้าคนนั้นเลยที่อ่ะเดี๋ยววันนี้เชิดเจ้ายศตีลุ่มไปเหล่ายศวัยลุกงเช่น你呀，莫那啥的，莫古折蒙里，莫折蒙，蒙呀，莫单条背就蒙腰，那背蒙就背得过一生，莫那单条，如果穿，得出西到路那，叫我走，得古都肯 ，For me, I always like to make things simple. I always want my friends and family to enjoy an evening like this with me. But damn it, my family ain't like that. They had to pressure us to cook for this event. But that's the love of the family. That's the way of the Hmong people. It's our culture. So when my family came into town and know that we're gonna do such an e event, They said, we're gonna cook. <laughs> we're gonna cook and we're gonna make it good. We're gonna make good food. And I said, man, even we don't do that at the Fresno Center anymore. <laughs> so I had to solicit a lot of help from my Fresno Center families and the food that uh, you guys are gonna enjoy with us this evening are from different people. A lot of my nieces and nephews, my sister-in-laws and brother-in-laws, my aunts, my uncles, 
or should we call it, our 18 clans helped out to make it possible for this evening. To my family on standing with me up here, I could never ask for a more perfect family. I say that because as they grow, they're taller than me, better looking than me, stronger than me, definitely more powerful than I am. But that's what our life is all about. It's about tomorrow, not about today or yesterday. That's why you guys are here. Many of you are my yesterday, my today, and my tomorrow. Those of you that were my yesterday made me who I am today. And those of you that are with me today are gonna help me become somebody else tomorrow. And that's what life is all about. As I age, I've learned so much in 50 years. I wanna share a story before I close. I'm gonna speak in English and then also in Hmong so that a lot of our elders that are with us this evening who may not understand English can get a better comprehension of what the story's meaning is about. There are two friends that were walking in the desert. They started arguing and these were two best friends. They started arguing over who knows what. Suddenly one of the friends slapped the other one. The handprint was on the, uh, the friend's face. The friends were so upset, he sat down and started writing in the sand. So they roll in the sand. Today, Nuna, my best friend slapped me in the face. Nuna kutu pong yu. Kilin tao ku. Then they travel on for another day. So the next day, they saw a pond or an oasis in the desert. The friend that got slapped decided to jump into the oasis. Got trapped. Got trapped. There was quicksand in the oasis. And he called for help. Help me. Baku. You're my friend. Help me. The friend jumped into the oasis and saved the life of his friend. When he was able to catch his breath, he sat down and found a big rock. Then he chiseled in the rock. He said, today my friend that slapped me yesterday saved my life. When his friend saw him chiseling that message in the rock, he said, friend, tell me, yesterday I slapped you and you wrote something in the sand and then today I saved your life and you wrote some, you edged something in the stone. Tell me why, you, why did you do that? And he said,
หล่อนหน้าหน้ามนชงงงก็มัวจะได้ตัวดูหล่อนงงหนูมันเชิงงงก็กูสอนยาตาเลย He said, "I wrote it in sand, so that when the wind of forgiveness and the rain of forgiveness come, it washes that message away that my best friend slapped me." And then today, I etch in stone. No, no, I'm not so tall, but she got na lo, tua du tua da lo, chong chi to, lu shi he ge je bu zai shi. I edge it in stone so that when the wind, the rain falls on that rock, doesn't get washed away. Because I will forever remember the love that you have given to me, even when we argue. To when you saved my life. In this story, Jadaning na nu mohe pon toku. It resonated with me, means a lot to me as I age. When I was younger, get into a lot of arguments, sometimes with the people you love, sometimes with the people you help or have helped you. But we get so busy, we get so inundated. Bei wo lao wo ga, bei tao xie ku, bei tao bei jing jiao zai de neng lu bei, de neng tao ba bei, de neng zhe bei. Tu lao de nao le yu ma zha zao, de lu xie li hen. กูใจหนึ่งเรามาตอกูจะพงยืออีจืดพงที่รู้กูเท่ากูยายาวเราตอกูมันชี้จะชงแต่อยากกูหายกูว่าจีเจ้าเนี่ยเสียกูเชื่อชงนะทัดสีตัวเนี่ยทุเรศตู Friends and families that have known me ever since I was little I apologize if I've argued with you I apologize if I've slapped you In a heated argument, I apologize if I have said things to you that my younger self was naive because I didn't understand what life is all about and the friendship that we have built and the love that we give each other. I stand before all of you and I apologize, and I take today to also thank you for the love, the guidance, the support. That you guys have all given me and my family up here. Evan is my oldest. Evan is 31. Nathan is my second oldest. He's 24. Mm. Shailen is my. She's the princess in my family. My favorite daughter. <laughs> she's 20. Yesterday was her birthday, wow. and she turned 20 yesterday. Kingston is my third son. He's 13 years old, but he can't shoot a rifle like I used to when I was 13 years old. So um, I'll send him to meet Mike Davis, Major Davis. And then Lincoln is my baby at nine years old. Wears the same size clothes as I I do. But he's a lot smarter than me because I get to take. He makes me take him to school every morning. I can never ask for a more perfect family. I will move heaven and earth for you guys if I could. There are no words to express my gratitude, my love, and my conviction to the betterment of all of you. All I can promise you is I will continue. To be what you guys want me to be, because without you, there's no me. Without everybody in the audience, there's no us. So, in closing, thank you, thank you to all of you for being here. You are here because you are part of our lives. When my wife and kid was going to invite my friends and family, I was scared. Because a lot of them don't understand the work that I do with a lot of you, so it will be hard for them to invite you. But I thank you for being here this evening. I couldn't believe that this day will come where I turn 50.
but it's actually the best day in my life in 50 years. So thank you to all my friends and families and loved ones that are here this evening. Mayor Steve Lee, thank you for being here. I didn't hear from you for a whole month and I was worried. I thought you ghost me. But then finally, he's here and thank you for being here, a good friend of mine. Uh, all elected official, you know, uh, I text you what I wanted you to say, you change everything. Uh, the guy doesn't listen. You always want to do good things. And then my, my younger brother, Sean and Elk Grove, thank you for your kind words. And uh, my good friend, Sal Cantero, Sal, where are you? Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. You, you've been a champion for our community. You and the mayor and Congressman Costa and the elected officials, the councilman, Tyler and Nelson and Valerie, school board trustee for President Unified. These are, I invited them here because these are the folks that help us guys. These are the people that fight the battles that we can't fight. These are the people that will stand in front of our Southeast Asian community and that I can't stand in front of. These are the people that I have to continuously convince how important our Southeast Asian community is. These are the people that I have to continue to educate to help them so they can help us. And it's not easy. Thank you to Deputy Chief, Police Chief Mark Salazar and uh, your wife. I try to be nice with Mark now. Mark, can you stand up in Virginia? I, I'm nice to Mark because Mark's like two feet taller than me, but more important, his wife is a lawyer. So I gotta I got be careful what I say to Mark. I'm not afraid to be arrested, but I'm afraid when the lawyer gets me, right? And then uh, Lieutenant uh, Steve Averos, thank you uh, for being here with us as well. And these are the people that protect us. ตัวเจนซื่อลําบุติไทเปยรู้ใจรู้จอกระเนยจะนอกจะชื่อเป็นสากะเล็นเปาเดเปยลิงตือเป็นสากะเล็นชาวเป็นมงเป็นสากะเ
主人望神，诶，用书啊，你你只只托工到古天啊，诶，你要将来要不要朋友，诶，背了木，我那个扫地台背路这路上，诶，用书啊，你晓得多啊 ，Thank you everybody。